remember these Handycam video recorders? In this video, we're going to recreate this effect. But before we do so, my name is Rico Richardson. I upload weekly videos on Darktable and DaVinci. So if that's something that you're into, please consider subscribing. Now let's go. Okay, and this is the clip that we're going to use. It's a clip of me riding my bike downtown. It was nice weather and I needed an easy clip for a different video. I'll be sure to put this clip in the video description down below so you can follow along. I'll upload it to my Google Drive. So that's where you can download it from. The first thing that I want to do is I want to add an adjustment clip because I don't want to add some changes to the clip itself, but I want to use an adjustment clip because we can then save it for later use. And to get one, we need to go to the effects library and then we go to effects. And here you have the adjustment clip and we can just drag it over our clip, extend it by grabbing the end and then pulling it to the right side. And now we have an adjustment clip, which is covering the entire video. And from here on, things are going to become interesting. We are going to the open FX page and we need to find the scan lines because those are those lines that you used to see on real camcorders. Now we can scroll in this list or we can click the search button and we can find scan lines and you see that resolve automatically shows them. We're going to drag those over the adjustment clip and look what happens. Now the footage is pretty much useless and that's because we need to tweak it and we can do so by selecting the adjustment clip and then clicking on open FX. And that will allow you to change how these scan lines look. So you can change the line frequency from 20 to one. And I like to put it on 12 for this video because I think that resembles the look the most. And then there are a couple of other things you can change like the line sharpness. And if you want to undo it, just click this little symbol right here and it will jump back to its original state. You can change the angle. So you can give them an angle or you can keep them horizontal and you can change the line width. So that's that effect. Let's go back. But in this case, I want to change the line shift because look what happens when I move this around. Then the lines itself are starting to move and look different as well. And that's the look that I want. So I'm going to make sure that I'm at the start of this clip and I'm going to click this little button, which will create a keyframe. And then I will go to the end of the clip and I will drag this backwards. The effect won't be as strong as you might think, but when you play this clip back in real time, you will definitely see the lines shifting and that resembles the look of this camcorder even more. But now we're not just quite there yet, because if you remember those old camcorders had a rack somewhere in the corners and sometimes they had a code or a timer on the bottom. And we can do so by going to the workspace and then click on data burn in. And that will give you a lot of options to choose from. If you want a custom text, you can use custom text one or custom text two. But in this case, I want the timer and the code to appear down here so that it counts upwards. So that means I need to click on source and record time code. Now, if I drag this down, you will see that this is the result. Now in your case, it's probably this. And that has to do with the fact that the opacity is set to one. But if you drag that down, the background disappears and just the text remains. And that's exactly what I want to achieve. So let me exit this window and let me show you what happens. So I'm going to deselect the sound. But if I play this, you will see that this timer starts to move upwards. Now let's go back. There's another thing that I want to change because this is very stabilized. And back in the day, camcorders didn't have any stabilization. So I want to counteract that by adding some camera shake. So once again, we're going to find camera shake and we're going to grab it and put it over the adjustment clip. Now you saw it pinch in just a little bit. So let's go to open effects and let's close down the scan lines by double clicking it. Let's open up the camera shake. And now let's play it back and see what happens. If for whatever reason, this isn't strong enough for you, you can change the motion scale and the speed scale. So I'll just let it play and I'll just play around with the settings. So this is a lot and this is less. So I'm going to make sure that this is somewhere set to 0.6. Now let's play it back and see how that looks. There you go. That's nice and subtle. 
So there's one more thing that we need to do right now, which is adding the rec button. And in this case, we can't use an effect because we have to build it from scratch, but I'm going to show you the most easy way to do this. So let's go to titles and let's make sure that we don't have any text selected. Let's grab the text, the regular text, and let's put it over the adjustment clip. And we don't need to drag it out because I'll show you how to duplicate this in a minute. We're going to add the text rec, but we're also going to add a dot by hitting Alt 10, and that will create this button. And if we select just this button, we can even change its color individually so that the rec stays white and the button becomes red. Now let's select rec and let's change the size to match the button. So let me drag this downwards. There you go. I will change the overall size, but I won't do it here. I will do it in the video menu because I can now use the zoom one and then decrease it and I can even change the position and I want it to be in the upper right corner. So let's drag it up. So now let's play back this clip and see how that looks. Pretty amazing. However, we all know that the red button used to flash. It still does when you're recording something, you will see a button flash. So we need to create that flash effect. And in this case, we're going back to the first frame and we're going to move the opacity slider down. And we're going to create a keyframe by clicking this button again. Then we're going forward 10 frames. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're going to bring back the opacity and a keyframe will be automatically selected. Now let's go forward 10 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's drag it down. And once again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And drag it back up. And now I'm going to cut off the clip. I'm going to select the clip. I'm going to hit Alt and I'm going to drag it out. I'm going to do that again and again and again and again and again. And then maybe we're going to cut off this clip a little bit. There you go. So now let's see how that looks. And you see a nice flashy button over here. And that's a camcorder effect in DaVinci for free. I hope you all like it. The question of today is which effect do you like most in DaVinci Resolve free? If you want to see more of me, please click that playlist over there. And if you haven't subscribed already, you can do so by clicking that button over there. And for this week, there's only one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. And until next time, doei!